My name is Chandler Mayo. I'm a developer advocate at PubNub, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up push notifications with PubNub and React Native. First thing we're going to do is create a new React Native app. Next, we'll need to install the PubNub React SDK. The first thing you need to do is to CD into the project folder of the app you just created. Then, use npm to install the PubNub React SDK. Once you've installed the PubNub React SDK, you'll need to create a new PubNub account or log in with your existing account. Once you've logged in, create a new app, and then click on the app you just created. You can either create a new key set or rename the demo key set Next, we need to integrate push notifications into our React Native app. To do this, we'll use the React Native Push Notifications library. Use npm to install the React Native Push Notifications library. After the library is installed, you'll need to link it. Link it with React Native Link. Linking will take care of some of the steps of setting up push notifications for Android. However, there's still some manual steps you'll need to do later on. Next, open the Xcode project and the iOS folder of our app. Open the general settings for the app, and then set a bundle identifier that's unique. Select your team, and make sure that Xcode is allowed to automatically manage signing. Repeat this step for the test target. Next, you'll need to add the push notification capabilities to your app. To do this, go to Capabilities and toggle on push notifications. Now we need to manually link the push notification library. Right click on the libraries folder in the project navigator and then click add to app. File that you'll need to add is inside node modules, react native, libraries, push notifications iOS, Add the RTC push notification Xcode project. Next, go to Build Phases, expand Link Binary with Libraries, expand RTC push notifications project, expand the Products folder, drag libRTC push notification.a into Link Binary with Libraries. Next, import the push notification manager into your app delegate. You also need to add some functions into your implementation to handle push notification events. Next, go to developer.apple.com and sign in with a paid Apple developer account. Click on Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles. Go to Keys, and then create a new key. Make sure to enable the Apple Push Notification Service, and then click Continue, and then Confirm. Download your push key and copy your key ID. Go back to your PubNub dashboard, and then scroll down to Mobile Push Notifications, and turn the toggle to on. Upload the token file you just downloaded. Enter your auth key ID, and then get your team ID by clicking on your team name, and going to View Account. Copy your team ID, and then enter it in the PubNub dashboard. Finally, enter the bundle ID that you set for your app previously, and save your changes. You'll need to make some changes to your Android manifest in order to use push notifications. Find your manifest by going into your app, opening the Android folder, app, source, main, and then add these permissions below the existing ones. Add the push notification configuration. Next, go to the Firebase console and add a new project. Once you've created a new project, click Add Firebase to App. You can get your Android package name from inside your app manifest. Download the config file to the root of the app folder.
you don't need to add the Firebase SDK. Click on the kebab menu and then go to settings. Go to the cloud messaging tab and then copy the server key field. Go to your PubNub dashboard and enter this key in the GCM API key field. Save your changes. Additionally, take note of your sender ID. You'll need this value later. The last step to integrate push notifications with PubNub is to get our device token, send our device token to PubNub, and then finally add a channel to receive push notifications. First, we'll need to import the push notification library, the PubNub React library, and the push notification iOS library. Then, we need to add a constructor, and inside the constructor is where we'll get our token and send that token to PubNub, and then we'll add a channel to receive notifications on. In this case, we're using the notifications channel to receive notifications. If you want to send an iOS notification, it must have the PN APNS key. If you want to send a notification on Android, you'll need to send the PN GCM key. Replace pub key and sub key with your keys from the PubNub dashboard. Replace the sender ID with the value from the Firebase console. Test push notifications on your iOS device by first going back to the Xcode project and then going to Product, Destination, and then select your device. Once you've selected your device, you can press Command R or go to Product, Run. It may take a few minutes to build your app the first time. Once the build has succeeded and installed onto your device, you can test push notifications. You'll need to send a message with an Apple push notification key in the message in order for it to be sent to your device. Devices don't need to be subscribed to a PubNub channel to receive push notifications. They only need to register for push notifications. If you go in the code where you register for push notifications, you can find a sample message that you can send to your device to test push notifications. To send this message, you'll need to go to your PubNub dashboard and then go to the debug console. Create a new client in the notifications channel. This is the same channel that we've registered to already to receive push notifications. If you send a message without the push notification key, no push notification will be displayed on your device. If you send a message with the push notification key, it will receive the push notification. By default, most Android devices can only install and run apps downloaded from Google Play so you must enable USB debugging on your device in order to install your app. To enable USB debugging, you'll need to enable the Developer Options menu. Instructions for how to enable the Developer Options menu are available in the blog post for this video. Once you've enabled USB debugging, you can run React Native Run Android to install onto your Android phone. It may take a few minutes to build the app the first time. Once the app has built successfully and installed onto your device, you're ready to send push notifications to it. To send a push notification to the device, you need to send a message with the key specific for Firebase Cloud Messaging to the channel the device is registered to for push notifications. The device does not need to be subscribed to the PubNub channel to receive push notifications for it. It only needs to register for push notifications. If you go in the code where you register for push notifications, you can find a sample message that you can send to your device to test push notifications. To send this message, Go to the PubNub Developer Console, create a client with the channel notifications, and then send the message with the key specific to Firebase Cloud Messaging. 